Hello and welcome back. Uh, first things first, let me show you the shirt for today. This uh, shirt, let me back up here a little bit, is the Arbuckle Derby Darlings. And I would like to thank the skater Hoff the Chain for bringing me this shirt. You can see um, Hoff the Chain's fan page on the links tab and also a link to the team. Uh, they had actually changed their name very recently uh, to South Central Roller Girls. So um, I just got an update on that. It looks like uh, I was skeptical about including the graphic novel in the course, but uh, I think it was a good thing. A lot of you guys um, had some great posts on, on uh, Jam and uh, even uh, one student even picked out a roller derby name uh, so it was great and as a lot of you guys focused on uh, the stories containing injuries and that uh, is a real thing in, in roller derby culture we've seen uh, that in other texts as well uh, and on a personal note my uh, girlfriend skates for lightning broads and well she did up until she uh, broke her ankle but uh, she wants to to go back and get back into it uh, but so it is a contact sport and there are um, unfortunately uh, injuries along with it it's not necessarily a rare thing the let's see ah a few of you mentioned or one of you in particular mentioned that or sent me an email directly and said that uh, VD, the Victory Dolls, are having a game this Saturday. And I don't know where exactly, but if you um, find the info, send it to me and I'll, I'll send it to everybody else and let them know. Someone had also mentioned, I think this was a ways back, but uh, that the Victory Dolls were having kind of a new recruit class. And I haven't put up stuff for new recruits, but I can do that on the links tab for many of the teams. But if you have information on where they can get that too, if you can send it to me, I'll, I'll send it out to everybody or put it on the links tab. The next assignment I think will be fun. Uh, you, We've gotten through all the hard theoretical readings and we're down to the fun stuff uh, for the last couple of days. And if you remember back to Whip It, the novel Whip It, do you remember when Bliss is so excited about roller derby that she goes home, uh, either home or pastures, I can't remember, but automatically starts searching uh, for roller stuff on the internet for roller derby, everything she could find about roller derby. Um, that, I think, would be an interesting thing to do for an assignment, not to try to find everything you can find, right? Um, we've already gone through a lot of stuff, but what I want you to do is search around, Google around, and try to uh, find a, a text or something that uh, it could be a blog, it could be a news column about roller derby, or it could be um, uh, anything that we haven't already seen or, or, or read about roller derby. And I want you to post the URL in the discussion board. And then along with posting the URL, I want you to analyze that blog, column, um, there are a lot of um, short YouTube videos I know by different roller girls and that sort of thing. Analyze what is going on in that text. I use text in a broad, in a broader sense, and then um, and make sure it's a substantial analysis of that um, that uh, that um, text that you find. And then, unlike other discussion boards. Uh, this time you'll only have to respond to one other student but what I want you to do and this instru these instructions are in the discussion board I want you to click on that URL and either view or read that text along uh, as well as just responding to the summary so find something there are a lot of roller girl blogs out there I know this there are a lot of other columns about roller girls and it doesn't have to necessarily be in Oklahoma it could be anywhere in the United States or internationally I know there are Australian teams and, and so this isn't just an American thing now find something that we haven't already seen write up a small summary telling us about it but also an analyze what's going on and then respond to one other post 
after you viewed that post's URL. And in that in, in your response, uh, if you can try to add to the analysis or respectfully disagree with a particular point made or agree with a particular point, but um, if you agree, try to add to the analysis or find something, another detail that uh, might have been missed. So I think this will be a fun assignment. Uh, like Bliss, we'll, we'll be searching for stuff on Roller Derby and sharing it with everybody. Um, even though I don't, it, she tried to share with Pash, I think, but uh, Pash really wasn't that interested. Uh, so that is the assignment. The other thing that I want to bring up is that there's a chance for extra credit. Uh, you all know about the evaluations of the course. Uh, Intercession is a little different. They don't go through the evaluation website. What they'll they do is they'll send you a, or I will send you a. Um, uh, document via email and then what you'll need to do is either email it to the intercession office or mail it to them and it has the instructions in there. Um, but do not send it back to me because this is confidential between you and the intercession office. Feel free to be honest. Um, tell me what works and what didn't work. Uh, that it will only help me do, uh, do different things uh, later um, to make the class more uh, enjoyable and uh, accessible. But um, once you've sent the evaluation to the intercession office, then all I need you to do so I know that you did this is go to the discussion board and and the instructions are there, but just say something, just post a, a post that says, look, I sent in the evaluation, give me my extra credit, or I, I did it, I sent it in, something as simple as that. Don't tell me um, what you answered or, or give me any uh, information like that because like I said it's supposed to be confidential between you and the intercession office. They do send me reports but they take everybody's name off of it so I don't know which student said what as it should be. And I do I will have grades up tonight. Uh, I'm a little bit behind I know and I've been putting it off for a couple of days. Um, I've, I've been a little busy but I will get them up late tonight and that way you'll be able to double check them. Um, all right, so again, great posts. Do that next assignment, and we have uh, we're we're coming up on the last couple days here. I am going to do the interview with Rosie Thursday night, and I'll get that up so that we'll be able to um, have a good assignment for that on Friday. All right, feel free to send me emails, uh, any questions or concerns. I'll see you guys next time.